Hi, I'm uh, Johan, the Viking Prepper, and today I want to talk to you about prepper terminology, and especially if, if you're first starting out, um, it can get a little confusing, because you'll find uh, a lot of the acronyms when getting into prepping um, are a bit confusing, and there are tons of them. So I put together a little list here of the most common ones, and uh, hopefully that will make things easier for you to understand if uh, referenced, and if you're just starting out in the prepper community. So a big one is uh, Wawki, and um, that means uh, the end of the world as we know it. And it doesn't necessarily mean Armageddon, but it means that we will have to change the way we live and having to survive for a long period of time. Uh, the most common one that you probably already know is the SHTF, uh, when uh, shit hits the fan, or WTSHTF, and that is when the shit hits the fan. Uh, we also uh, reference to good, get out of Dodge, and SOL, S -O -L, which means shit out of luck. When those uh, SHTF uh, happens, uh, or uh, you're in a SOL situation, uh, we need to bug out and move to an alternate location. And you can do this uh, you know, by foot, by vehicle, um, but we have some acronyms uh, that's uh, necessary for that as well. So we called uh, a Bob, a Bob, B-O-V, a Bol, B-O-L. So Bob is a bug out bag, and uh, B-O-V is a bug out vehicle, Bol, B-O-L, is bug out location. Um, one of the biggest concerns uh, for most uh, in the prepper community, I think, including myself, is uh, to have a grid down event caused by an electromagnetic pulse, um, whether it's uh, man-made or a solar, solar uh, flare that can create an EMP that will uh, create a grid down event. So we often talk about GDE, which is grid down event, and EMPs, uh, which is electromagnetic pulse. Um, yeah, during demonstrations and riots, uh, um, and when the police or military is not going to be able to um, control the situation, we talk about ROL, W R O L, without rule of law. And um, um, we also have LOS, which is line of sight, and uh, operational security, which is uh, OPSEC. And we also have standard operating procedures, SOPs, standard operating procedures. When it comes to uh, the military backpacks, you're going to hear, hear uh, or backpacks in general, you're going to hear a lot of uh, reference to a mole, M-O-L-L-E, M-O-L-L-E, which is uh, stands for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment. So it's, uh, it's more of like the military design backpacks that we talk about. And uh, when it comes to military, very common also is MREs, which is uh, meals that are ready to eat. Um, now, uh, when we talk about MREs, um, I'm going to probably do a separate video about that, why I do not prefer MREs. Uh, and um, I prefer the uh, freeze-dried foods over the MREs, uh, but that's uh, for a longer conversation um, and explanation. So we'll do that in a separate video. We also have YOYO, uh, Y-O-Y-O. -Y -O -Y -O. And that means you are on your own. You're on your own. Yo-yo. Um, we also talk quite a bit about FEMA, ARC, and JIC. So FEMA is, uh, we all know FEMA, but FEMA is the Federal Emergency Management System. And ARC, A-R-C, is uh, American Red Cross. And JIC is just in case. Now I put a whole complete list here together, so I'll go over them really quick again. Um, it's uh, Tietwavki, the end of the world as we know it. Shit hits the fan, SHTF. When the shit hits the fan, WTSHTF. Good, get out of Dodge. Soul, shit out of luck. Bob, bug out bag. BOV, bug out vehicle. A ball, BOL, which is a bug out location. Grid down event, GDE, electromagnetic pulse, EMP. 
Without rule of law, RAWL, W-R-O-L. LOS, line of sight. OPSEC, operational security. SOP, standard operating procedure. MOL, modular lightweight load carrying equipment, which is the military design backpacks. MREs, meals ready to eat. Yo-Yo, you're on your own. FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Systems. ARC, American Red Cross, and JIC, just in case. You're in the right place at the right time. Join me and other Viking warriors, and together we will navigate the journey towards living a stress-free and prepared lifestyle. As a good warrior, we must plan, prepare, and prevail. I look forward to connecting and sharing my experiences with you. Until next time, be prepared and stay safe.